Do you want to say it or shall I? We don't believe you. Season 2 episode 3 of Criminal UK begins where Daniela is brought in for questioning about her online vigilante community pesticide. If you want to watch the explanation on the other 3 episodes please click here on the card and open the playlist. Here is the breakdown of Criminal UK episode 3. Before we start with what happened in the interrogation room let's explain the case against Daniela. In the past Daniela and many of her online group pesticide members have exposed pedophiles and Daniela is brought for questioning regarding a man named Andrew Simmons. She is charged of accusing someone who wasn't guilty as it is a crime if you accuse someone of something in a public platform and the accused suffers from it and the accusers are held as criminal. Daniela believes that her accusation against Simmons is correct but the cops don't believe it to be true as in the UK and US there are many of these vigilante groups this episode tells us the pros and cons of this vigilantism and poses a question if this is right or wrong the story about Daniela and her daughter's school and the teacher was a lie as the social services had taken her children at that time To cope with that Daniela decided to wage a crusade against pedophiles. She decided to start pesticide an online community but she was alone and no one joined her. But during the interrogation she made it look like there were many members and she's loyal to them. Daniela used fake IDs to chat with people for weeks until she learns the true identity of the other, their address, profession, etc. She did the same with Andrew Simmons but it turned out that it was Simmons colleague who was using his computer to chat with Daniela. For example, when he told her that he drove BMW and her research showed another car parked outside the house, she dismissed it as him trying to impress her but he was telling the truth as it wasn't his house. All this evidence is presented to her and she ruined an innocent man's life by sending the conversations to his employer and mother-in-law Andrew lost his job that he had for 20 years his wife suffered panic attacks and his daughter once came home from school beaten up very badly all this happened to an innocent man and people on social media and other communities who spread things like wildfire shouldn't they be held responsible and it also turned out that Andrew Simmons wasn't alone there were two more men who suffered from Daniela's investigation this episode of the series urges us to if we do find something inappropriate let's give it to cops as it is their job that was all for the criminal uk episode 3 thank you for watching the video like and share